Beautiful morning. Hello everyone and welcome to Saturday. Leaving the hotel. Um, it's actually, it's like 11.45, but checkout's at noon, so whatever. Uh, we were thinking about maybe going to the flea market here. We may still, but it costs 50 cents. And if we don't find anything, that means it wasn't worth it. Let's get some food. For lunch, we came over to the uh, Honey Baked Ham Company. There was one in Savannah, but we never went. So we decided to come here. Mount picked it up. It's good. I got some kind of like turkey bacon ranch sandwich. Mount also got a turkey bacon ranch something. There's no ranch, it's honey mustard. Oh, but it's good. I like it. It's a pretty good sandwich. After lunch, we stopped by Trader Joe's and we also came over here to Cape Fear Games. Can you guys see that? I don't know. Um, because someone gifted me a copy of uh, Magic 2014 Duels of the Planeswalkers on Steam. And one of the cool things about uh, getting that game whenever it first comes out is that you can get a code and take it to a store and you get a promotional card. So we just stopped by since we're in Wilmington and picked up this little pack. It's a Magic 2014 booster pack and it's got the promo, which is this scavenging ooze card, and uh, it costs green and one, and it says, for green, exile target card from a graveyard if it was a creature card, but a plus one, plus one counter on scavenging ooze, and you gain one life, and it's a two, two creature. Pretty cool. And then otherwise, it's just a very small booster pack, predatory sliver. Oh yeah, I forgot the slivers are back. And child of night. Neat. Mal's going to try one of these really, really old skilled cranes that they have. How do I make him turn? You may not be able to. Oh, there you go. It decides for you. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be really working in your favor there. Hmm. I'd say you lost. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, we came over to the Starway Flea Market just to kind of take a look around, but there's a lot that's not even here, and also it's terrible, and it costs 50 cents to enter, which means we lost money, which is sad. And the Little River area, again, for a hmm. tornado, those of you in That's unfortunate. Hi! We got back safely. We've been here for about 30 minutes or so, um, and it started to rain pretty hard. And then our phones did the emergency alert thing, which I knew they could do, but we've never had before, so it's kind of cool. It was like, Aah! it was really annoying. Um, but apparently we have a tornado warning, warn, warning and uh, it's bad. We're probably going to get some hail. We don't have a tornado yet. It's just a thunderstorm capable of producing tornadoes. It's lots of rain. And 15 minutes later, the sun is shining. It's like it never even happened. To finish up this evening, we are going to be making some French toast. We've been really into French toast recently. I don't know why. It's it's not Mal, it's me. I'm like addicted to French toast right now. I don't know why. I wasn't deprived of it as a child or anything. I just really like it. Anyway, um, I wanted to say that we really enjoyed our trip to Wellington. It was a blast. It was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed eating that burger at Nick's Diner. I ate like <laughs> three different animals and it was really awesome. Not because I ate the animals, but because it was delicious. There was something about that sausage and bacon in that sandwich that added the necessary salt that just made it really good. Also, I had a stomach ache almost immediately after because that sandwich was awful for me, but it was really good. Um, also, on the way back home today, we stopped at Player's Choice. Not the Player's Choice we normally go. They have two stores. We stopped at the one that was in Chalope, and I picked up a game I've been meaning to pick up for a long time, but just haven't. Michael Jordan, Chaos in the Windy City. If you're not familiar with this game, it's it's kind of hard to explain. If you might be, you, maybe you know Shaq Fu. Shaq Fu is a fighting game that features Shaquille O'Neal fighting weird demons in another land, in another dimension. Well, uh, Michael Jordan: Chaos in the Windy City. You play as Michael Jordan and you attack like ghosts on a pirate ship with basketballs. There's different levels. It's really weird. It's a game I've known about for a long time. I've always wanted to pick up and just never did, but today I decided to grab it, so maybe we'll do a first 20 of that. Anyway, that being said, Kep is rolling around on the floor getting high. Mao is going to show us how to make French toast, so if you don't already know how, now you're going to learn. I keep my eggshells for tomatoes because t tomatoes like eggshells. <laughs> yeah, we're not crazy, we swear. <laughs> so how many eggs are you doing? Five. Okay, and five makes how much? Eight pieces. 
So five eggs for eight pieces. Mm -hmm. I always use a whisk because I like good French toast and it whips them up nice and mixes them good. You stir it really good, really quick. And see, I didn't quite break that yolk there. He's still whole. So stir. Until I got nice combined eggs. Woo! And this is what I add. I add cinnamon. And I don't measure when I make French toast. It's like... That much. Okay. And then I use nutmeg. Ah, Peggy Hill. <laughs> you need more nutmeg. And then I use vanilla extract. Ah, the secret ingredient. Not really. Oh. This is maybe like a fourth of a table. Teaspoon, not tablespoon. <laughs> It'd be a lot of vanilla. Then you gotta mix it good, and the spices tend to clump. So you gotta mix it really good. Get them off the sides. Now, we're using honey wheat. Because it's my favorite. Because <laughs> it's not white bread, but it looks like it. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of wheat. What do you think? I like wheat, but I know you don't. So, a I lot. Like most most people don't like wheat bread. I like sourdough. That's like anyone I've ever talked to really hates wheat bread. Very few people. This is a good alternative. Or just wheat bread, but okay, sure. Yeah. Okay, so I, I try and mix this a lot before I put a piece in. And you could use a fork or a tongs, but whatever. Okay, you get it soaked and then you throw it on there. Mm -hmm. And it's like on hmm, medium high. Medium high. And I always use the foot or the heel because why not? <laughs> Dang it. So you repeat with as many as uh, will fit on here and then how long you cook them? I don't know. <laughs> Pay attention. <laughs> that, that's, your, that's your answer? So they look like they're ready to flip. Okay. Uh, sure. See, it's almost done. See, it's raw there yet and mm -hmm. cooked here. It was almost ready. Okay. I can just flip it back later. That one's better, see? Okay. Anyway, when they're done, because I normally tend to have to make a lot for Steven, <laughs> I put a plate in the microwave and I, I just sort of like put them on the plate to keep them warm. Syrup, honey, preserves, whatever you want to put on them. They are delicious. Now you know how to do French toast for your family and you. So make it quick, cause it's so great. And if you don't, then I guess you didn't. Although probably a lot of your audience know how to make it already. Yeah, I mean, come on, it's French toast. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, and as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? something people do, right? They run along rooftops. Magical jump! I didn't actually know that was there, but it was pretty exciting. <laughs>